Hey, what's going on guys? I want to thank everyone for tuning in to this video presentation where we're going to be going over the Flipper Zero multi-purpose all-in-one Swiss Army knife hacking tool and its application in the reading and writing of low frequency and high frequency RFID tags. Now with RFID, low frequency tags range between 125 and 134 kilohertz frequencies while high frequency or NFC near field communication RFID tags resonate at 13.56 megahertz all right both low frequency and high frequency are common in their use with physical access control systems however high frequency tags are more common as they store more data and provide better encryption but till this day, Anytime Fitness utilizes low frequency tags in their physical access control systems. And if you've worked for the government uh, as an employee or a contractor, you're familiar with PACs or physical access control systems and the common access card and PIV with the common access card being uh, NFC tag used for physical access control and the PIV being reserved for the access of computer systems. Again, both high frequency tags, uh, but not difficult to replicate. So let's get to what this amazing device can do. We're gonna go ahead and scan this KeyZ low frequency tag. If you haven't watched my video on Anytime Fitness access control systems, which I've previously hacked using a different device uh, known as the KeyZ low frequency RFID tag duplicator, please do so. The link is in the description. But let's go ahead and test the functionality of our Flipper Zero. We're going to read this tag. There you go. Now, this tag type is cross-compatible with other tags. Uh, it's a T55X series, which means you can copy and replicate other tag types to this tag. That's not something common with all RFID tags, but the T55X is one of those. So you can take a, a different tag type. Um, for example, a HID proximity pass and clone that to the T55X, which I've done uh, before this presentation. Now, if we go in the more section, we can either save the tag that we've scanned, okay, we can emulate this tag, all right, or we can write this tag to a blank tag that we have. So you can see the dynamic functionality of the Flipper Zero. Um, we can use this device as a tag. I mean, we can go up to a card reader and take whatever tag we've saved to this device, similar to the KeyZ um, tag duplicator. And we can use this as a tag itself, or we can clone a tag and, and copy that to another tag. All right. And here we'll get information about the tag after we scan the RFID tag. All right. Now we can go back and we can add tags manually and go to extra actions. All right. Let's go to NFC. And we're going to read this NFC tag. And basically what this device is doing is it's reading the tag and it's cross-referencing the data it's reading to its database. All right, and here we have identified this tag as a Mafair Classic 1K. UID number is the unique identifier. Uh, and we're going to go to the more section and explore the info of this tag which we have the ISO 
uh, or tag type. This is the standard. The UID is the unique identifying number. ATCA and SAC. Those numbers are going to tell us the manufacturer and tag type. Okay, and then if we go to more, we have the encrypted data that we've obtained from this tag. All right, so we're going to go back. And again, we can save this NFC tag on our device and then use our Flipper Zero as a tag, or we can emulate this, or we can read, or we can write uh, this tag to a blank tag. All right. What's cool about the Flipper Zero is that it's updated often. Uh, and so using your smartphone and the Flipper Zero app, you can synchronize your smartphone with the Flipper Zero and update uh, your device, which is cool. At the inception of this device, we didn't have all these features. For example, detecting the reader. Okay, we didn't have that. Uh, so you can actually use this to detect what uh, type of a NFC reader type we're dealing with. Uh, so if you're performing reconnaissance, for example, as a hacker or malicious actor, you can use this device to find out what type of a card reader is a business uh, or a government using. And then knowing the type of uh, card reader that they're using, you're going to know what type of a... Uh, um, NFC tag you're going to need to make. RFID tags that have less encryption, you can actually guess uh, a unique identifier or whatever it is data that you need to gain access to those physical access control systems you can do um, with devices like the Proxmark, for example which you can use to uh, write raw data to a tag. We can add tags manually if we know the type of tag that we're adding, right? Rather than scanning, um, there's a, a list of NFC tags that are pre-configured on this uh, Flipper Zero device. So if you know the tag type that you have, um, you can go through this menu. And there are already templates available on this Flipper Zero for those tag types if you know what type of tag you're using. But all in all, this is a great device. There are other cool devices out there um, that deal with the RFID technology uh, such as the already mentioned uh, Keezy RFID tag duplicator we have the Proxmark uh, and there are different series of the Proxmark available and you can get the cheap knockoffs also but all in all this is a really handy multi-purpose hacking tool it's not only limited to RFID or NFC but also uh, software-defined radio. So if you're familiar with the HackRF or the port pack we'll save that for a, a different video. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm going to be doing a series of these on the Flipper Zero. Um, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and until next time.